Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to make some beef jerky, but I usually slice my meat, but this time I'm trying a method where you grind your meat up and put it through a jerky gun. So we'll see how we get on. I've never made it this way before, so it's going to be a new experience for me. Hope you enjoy and follow along. Okay, so I've got this to put the meat in. I've got some meat here and I'm going to just chop up the meat so that I can put it through the grinder. Okay, so I'll get the rest of this cut up and then we'll progress on to the next stage. Okay, so as you can see, I've had a clean up, the meat's all cut, I've got a pan and this is my new grinder, I haven't used it yet. So hopefully everything should be good. It's the best thing to fill the meat tray with some meat. You gotta be careful with your fingers in here, so that's why you use the plunger. So I'm just gonna get some meat stacked up. Don't wanna to put too much because there's no rush. Okay, so this probably isn't necessary, but I decided I'm going to grind the mince again. Um, it's done really good, but I like a really smooth ground mince. So I'm going to start and put some of this back through again for a smoother mincing. So that's all through a second time. Just move this back because I will need it again later. Okay, so that is all the mince. So now I'm going to get my scales and weigh some out. Now they say to do it in smallish batches. So I'm going to grab a bowl of some description. Okay, turn my scales on. Now I'm going to do anywhere from two to three pounds of meat per batch. So it'll all depend on how much. So that's one pound. Oh, 
for now. So that's three pounds. So we've got one, two, three, four, lots of three pound and a two pound. Okay. Time for a quick tidy up and then I'll be back. I've got everything I need. I'm going to use this. I've never used it before. This isn't sponsored or anything. It's just what I picked up from the local store. So it says to make the entire pack at one time, dissolve entire seasoning and cure it into five ounces of water and mix with five pounds of meat. So I have the three pound here and I've actually the two pound here. So I might as well add that together. So I've got to dissolve this into five ounces of water, which I've got here already. So it said the entire pack. Smells good. That's the seasoning and this is the cure. So both need to be dissolved in here. Okay. dissolved. So I'm going to add it to the meat. And now the nice gooey sticky messy part. Give it all a really good mix. Okay so I've given that a good mix. I'll wash my hands and read what it says next. Okay, so that's all mixed and nice. So we're going to leave that to marinade and make another batch. I've got some ready and it's time to stuff it in here. So I've stuffed the gum, now I have to add there we go. So and now we should I don't know how this is gonna work out. The bumper? <coughs> Oh, I've mixed up this. It's a hickory and it's for snacking sticks. So I've changed the end of my nozzle now to a sausage style one. And now we're gonna fill the gun again. You don't marinate these until after the stuff. Get 
Now we do the lid. Okay. Then, so, that one? That one. Then double so, that one. Now we need to get a little bit of spray onto the nozzle. Just some cooking spray. Oh, just leave them there a minute. Maybe not on there, on here, that, that, the hook. Ah! Okay, so don't overfill. And then you twist. Don't, don't mess. Are there the one ready? No, 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 no! Oh. And then fill again. You can't eat the end there. Guess what? Okay, so I've got two sticks there. Hang on. I'm making a baby one now. All the snacking sticks are done and now it's time for them to sit in the fridge overnight and cure. Bye! Okay, so I have my smoker and there is two of the trays of jerky still, still in there. We'll go to the house and see the rest. This has just come out of the smoker. I haven't actually used any smoke, I'm just using it to do the jerky and here's some that was out earlier and have cooled and are ready for the fridge.